guys, what's going on? It's in the gym with Team Massive Joes. Training some chess, baby. At our preferred fitness facility at the moment, Anytime Fitness Marlin. Starting 2015 off with a big chess workout with my brother in iron. Massive Joes wholesale account manager, Joel Bait, aka Swole Bait, aka the Swole What's up, guys? And special comments, of course, by the people's champ, Neve Movement. The people's champ now. <laughs> Wait, let's be honest. The, like people, the people's eyebrow, the people's company, the people's champ. Well, mate, you are the people's sales manager, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, started this workout off. This is going to be, this is a real basic workout for you viewers at home, man. We thought we'd start 2015 off with, hey, everyone starts 2015, a little bit of chess, man. But this is a real basic movement. But you're going to learn a lot in this inner gym with Team Master Joe's, man. So we started off with some incline hammer strength machine press swole yeah so we started off with uh, a couple of warm-up sets and then we worked our way up um, to basically you know things get interesting with our workouts in the second to last set of each exercise we usually do you know about 12 reps on the third to last exercise and the second one we do a rest pause set like uh, you can see Joe doing here and then on the last one we're going to do a rest pause and then a double drop set as well so That's we're really it, man. and and with the with the rest pause you the way we do it man the team massive joe's rest pause well is we go into failure and trying to fail between like usually six to ten reps mm. then you pause them for five to ten seconds and then you go on a failure again yeah so you, you get into failure twice so you really you're giving that muscle a little bit of time to recover and then pushing it again to try and get those couple of extra reps out I, I just want to say quickly, I've been doing a bit of research on Ben Pakulski, and he charges 130 bucks for uh, his article, Workout Plan, and it's some NOS training. All it is is he drops what the Team Master Joe's does. He drops each set <laughs> by 20% at the end. Well, let's be honest. We all do follow Ben Pakulski <laughs> and put in a fair bit of his stuff, but we're not going to charge no, he, people he, for watching the video. He copied us, I think. That's I what I'm saying. He's put, he's put it into his MI48X, charging people 130 bucks. We're just telling you for I, free in this video. Nate Boss, are you saying the Pac-Man subscribes to the Team Master Joe's? I think he does. <laughs> <laughs> and then anyway, the last set, and this is how you're going to see the last set on every exercise in this workout, man, was we're doing the double drop set. We, so we upped the weight a little bit more, aiming for maximum failure between four to six reps. Then we're dropping that weight just a little bit. It tends to vary, JB, sometimes hmm. 20%, sometimes 30%, sometimes You just 50%. make it up, man. You just, you just, make take, it up. You just take plates off. Just take plates off, yeah. And Either then we way. drop in again. So we're doing the double drop set and just going to failure every single time, man. So the first part of the drop, you're going to failure. The second part of the drop, you're going to fail. As you can see here. The third part of the drop in his bitch. And Joe, you're also keeping your shoulder back. You can tell here, you can keep your shoulder back, your chin tucked, because you're taking the delts, your rather large boulders, out of the movement. That's a big thing with a lot of the exercises we're doing here, guys. You can see our shoulders are always back to take the... Uh, to, to take the shoulders out of the movement, so we're really focusing on the chest. So, and that's the thing with those drop sets and rest pause sets, you want to make sure your technique's always correct. You know, if, you, if you're bringing your shoulders into it too much to chase reps, you might as well stop uh, you know, when, you, when you're fatigued. So always make sure your technique's right on point. And then we moved on to this here, this uh, uh, horizontal hammer strength vertical press. <laughs> oh. I don't know what the f you call this exercise. It's the press where you're sitting and you're pressing the shit on the hammer strength machine. It's huh? a weird movement, man. It's almost, you know, you start at low, almost like a decline press, and then it sort of comes up to, to regular chest height. So Scoop it's, them bitches. You scoop it, yeah. So and it's a good way to take the shoulders out. Um, but it's, it's once again, it's machines. Sometimes you can find them a little... I find this one a little bit weird personally, but, you know, that's just a personal opinion too. And so. what you're seeing here is the uh, the rest pause set on the big swole, man. Just went to failure and he's busting out a few more reps. And on the on the second part of the rest pause set, you can get your spotter to come and, and help you oh. force out some reps, man. Mate, that's where your training partners are there to get those those forced reps. And what I always recommend for, for any training partner as well, guys, is, you know, let it go on that eccentric phase on the way down make sure your training partner's working on that eccentric phase of the movement because they're going to be a lot stronger through that phase and yeah. you know they're going to get a lot out of that if they're if they're taking all of the weight on the way don't spot the eccentric let them feel the weight yeah exactly yeah, that's a good point i see people do that all the time with gym man they spot in the the concentric the positive phase of the movement and then they go spot yeah. the eccentric and negative phase of the movement man, you ain't doing no f work if your spotting partner's doing all the lifting man yeah Joe you're gonna that. make yourself no gains you did that to me the other day man and i actually told you off i'm like just let go of it man you know you're gonna make yourself zero gains 
So anyway, this is the last uh, last rest pause. Uh, sorry, this is a, a drop set. This is the last uh, last little bit here, just to really finish it off. And as you can see, with these, I'm trying to like control it on the way down, but also explode out. So you really you're exploding out from on that concentric phase, and then uh, controlling it down on the way back. That's a what are you counting here, Joe? I'm like, counting the wraps, man. He's counting the affirmations. I'm counting. I'm counting to ten for the big swallow. Just Thank quickly. Just try getting them ten reps. Just quickly. Make sure the time under tension is where it needs to be, Neva. Uh, I'm wearing the new TMJ, the t-shirt you're wearing, Big Hose. Oh, well, I wasn't going to mention it until now, but look at that fresh <laughs> Team Massive Joe's Crest T. Dropping <laughs> MassiveJoe's.com. Check that out, man. That, that is fresh. That's that clean. That's product placement, man. Unbelievable. We had people around the gym asking if they could buy one. Oh, shit. I heard they wanted to buy the ones for our poses back, oh, mate. He was going to sign it first. <laughs> Get the old felt tip out of the back pocket. That's all there, 24-7. <laughs> so then we moved in. This is generally what we'll do with, with chest, chest workouts in general. Is we'll get all the pressing movements out the way, and then we'll go and we'll hit the flying movement. So the first flying movement for this workout, man, we went over to the pec deck and hit ourselves some, some pec deck flies. Yeah, so the same thing with this one, guys, is you want to keep those shoulders back and keep your delts out of the movement. Uh, as you can see here, Hose has got his, his chest out. He's actually sitting forward on the bench a little bit to help keep those shoulders back. Um, and you've got to really... It's a personal thing as well with, with your elbow position. Some guys prefer to keep them up. I personally prefer to keep them on an angle like Joe's got here where they're down on a tiny bit of an angle. They're not at shoulder height. And that's going to focus predominantly on your chest and take a little bit out of your, out of your delts. Yeah, that's it, man. The higher the the higher the uh, elbows come, the the more chest activation you tend to get. But then the also the more chance of delt activation mm. you got in his bring them delts into it. Mm. Yeah, and what we did here, so we did a few, you know, a few rest, uh, few sets, rest pause there, and then yeah. just to change things up a little bit, we did some time under tension reps. So yeah, this this was f yeah, th this was painful. And as you can see, the weight isn't heavy. But what we're trying to do, Joe's trying to do ten seconds. Uh, 10 seconds on the concentric, 10 seconds on the eccentric, yeah. and we're timed, I think we did like three or four reps here. I, I'm, 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 my chest hurts watching this yeah. shit. We did this workout a couple of days ago. My chest is, is, is sore as f at the moment, but it actually hurts watching this right now. Yeah, it, this is a painful way of training, and guys, if you've never done it before, just give it a try with any type of exercise. Yeah. Um, you know, for legs, like leg press is awesome. Um, we did it with uh, preacher curls for biceps the other day, yeah. and it, it's painful stuff. You don't need a lot of weight, so it's good for your joints. But your your muscles are gonna be kicking your ass. Well, that's one thing. Something people do with chest is they just go put on as much weight as they can, try and pump out five shitty reps on the dumbbells, and they get the the whole set takes them about eight seconds. Whereas mm -hmm. you've just done another forty seconds at the end just from that time and tension. That's it. That's a big uh, uh, Dennis James uh, oh, training Dennis. principle, isn't it? Big, the big DJ in the yeah. house. <laughs> that's what uh, that's what Big Neve does in the bed too. He likes to do the time under tension. <laughs> 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 If it's, a, if it's a quick wrap, there's <laughs> not a lot of time not a, there. Not a lot, you know, some of that motion for the ocean. But anyway, let's get serious. So we're Neva, the... Neva, speaking of Neva, he always likes to do the dips in the bedroom, you know what I'm Ooh. saying? <laughs> so then we went on to some dips, and as you can see here, we've got a bit of an angle. Shoulders are back again. Um, to, to once again predominantly hit that, that chest. You know, it's a compound movement. You're going to hit your shoulders a little bit, but you want to take them out as much as possible. And JB, what the f*** are you doing here, man? We ain't training back. We're training chest in his back! What, what are you doing pullovers for? Well, man, You're confused, man. You, mate, pullovers <laughs> is a compound movement, so, you know, same thing. It's going to hit your chest a little bit, and especially towards that first half of the movement. So what we're trying to do here is only really do sort of half the, half the movement. So halfway down, and that's gonna and squeeze your chest at the bottom as well. Before the lats start coming in. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Mate, they don't call you Mr. Textbook for nothing, do they? Textbook reps. Oh, shit. See what happened with the dumbbell? I don't know. Look at this. Look at the sneaky weight, mate. I think it yeah. fell out of his arsen hula. <laughs> <laughs> started shitting dumbbell plates. <laughs> Just lost ten kilos. Yeah. <laughs> mid mid uh, mid workout set. Yeah, so then the last thing we moved on to was just a, a flying movement, so we just went into some uh, some cable crossovers, um, constant tension. As you can see here, Joe's really not getting, uh, like, stretching back too far. He's going back to about shoulder movement and then really squeezing the chest on the way in, so... so that first it, movement as well is a lot to do with shoulder, that first. If you're taking it yeah. back too far, yeah. because uh, where your chest is, the first movement, when you go back too far, is, yeah, just all delts. Mm. Yeah, so don't uh, make sure you don't go too far back when you're doing the uh, the cable crossovers. And and while you're forgetting not to go too far back, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of In the Gym with Team Massive Joe's and Joel.
and Neve, <laughs> and everything else in our YouTube channel, where we're coming to and from, fellas. Masterjoes.com. Stay